Hello everyone, hope all is well. So I wanted to go over a few questions from the review that I got emails about. So for this first one, it says factor completely this quadratic trinomial. So to take out some of the guessing and checking, I'm gonna use what's called the AC method. And I sent a video about it recently. So the AC method means we're gonna multiply this A value, which is out in front of the variable squared, and the c value, which is the constant. So 3 times negative uh, 20 is negative 60. So that's your first step. Then you're going to find two things that multiply to that negative 60 and also at the same time add to negative 4. So you're still going to have to do some guessing and checking here. So for example, I'm just going to try 15 and negative 4. So those multiply to negative 60, but they add to 11. So we want it to add to negative 4, so those two numbers won't work. So now let's try 10 and negative 6. Well, those multiply to negative 60, but they add 10 plus negative 6. They add to a positive 4. We want a negative 4. So then simply switch the signs. So it should be a negative 10 and a positive 6. So now once you have those two numbers, you're going to use those two numbers to break this middle term up. So 3p squared stays the same. And then minus 10p, right, coming from the negative 10. And then plus 6p, because that's a positive. So I'm breaking the negative 4p up into these two numbers. And then minus 20 stays as it is. Okay, and then this is a good thing because we know how to factor by grouping. So let's look at the first two terms and see what we can pull out. Well, you can pull out a p, and then you would get back 3p minus 10. And now let's see what we can pull out here. It looks like you can pull out a 2. And if I pull out a 2 to get back 6p, I need 3p. And to get back negative 20, I need minus 10. So these match up, which is a good thing. So 3p minus 10. And then the stuff on the outside is p plus 2. So it's just a little more of a concrete step-by-step -step procedural way to get this thing factored. Otherwise, you have to do some guessing and checking. This is a little bit more structured of a guessing and checking, even though we have to still do it over here.